This episode of the meal prep series is buffalo chicken wraps. They're super easy to make, taste absolutely delicious, and they're pretty cheap too, which is always a win. Let's go straight into it. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, starting out, we're going to add 600 grams of boneless and skinless chicken thigh to a mixing bowl and follow that up with four grams of both onion and garlic powder for a nice concentrated flavor, two and a half grams of sweet paprika for that nice peppery note and color, and follow that up with 125 milliliters of Frank's hot sauce, which is a nice buffalo sauce that doesn't have too much heat and will flavor this chicken extremely well. Before we give it a mix, just hit it up with a little bit of salt and cracked black pepper, 10 cracks worth. And then just mix this around, making sure everything is completely coated. And then we're going to allow this to marinate for about 30 minutes, up to 24 hours. The longer the better, the more time that flavor has to penetrate the meat. Now in the meantime, we're going to make a ranch sauce. Now you don't have to make this if you don't want to, it does contain a few calories. To a tall jar or a container, add one whole egg, 15 milliliters of white vinegar, 10 grams of American or yellow mustard, and then follow that up with 100 milliliters of any neutral flavored oil. And in this case, I'm using grapeseed, but you can use anything that you like. Let's then place in an immersion blender or stab blender and just blitz this up over a high speed just to form an emulsion or a very, very light mayonnaise. This isn't supposed to be thick, it's actually supposed to be quite runny. But if you wanted to make it a little bit thicker, you will need to add more oil, which will boost up even more calories. To flavor the sauce, add in two and a half grams of both onion and garlic powder, again for those concentrated flavors. One gram of both dried dill and dried parsley. This is also concentrated flavor. You can use fresh herbs if you wanted to, but this won't last as long. 50 grams of sour cream for that nice tang. And then for even more tang, we're going to add in 125 milliliters of buttermilk. Season to taste with sea salt flakes and cracked black pepper. The amount is up to you and to your liking. And then we're going to get back in there with the stab blender or immersion blender and just blitz this up until everything is evenly combined. Again, this isn't supposed to be a thick sauce. It is quite runny, but once you place it in the fridge, it will thicken up. Now this sauce does make a little bit more than necessary depending on how much ranch sauce you like. You can also use it as a dipping sauce once you have the final product, but I recommend placing it into a jar, which will leave us with this beautiful sauce. And then we can place a lid on and this will last up to one week in the fridge. It is also recommended to place it in the fridge now until you're ready to serve. And these are the macros per portion for the ranch sauce. With that out of the way, the fillings are completely optional. You can add whatever you like to this. But here I have one baby cos or romaine lettuce. I'm going to give this a rough chop, just shred it up into nice thin strips. And I do recommend giving this a wash because inside those leaves can contain quite a bit of dirt. But then we can just get rid of that last piece and place it into compost. I'm also using one ripe avocado, depending on how much avocado you like, you can use two or three. And you can open this up however you feel safe to do so. I like to just hold it in my hand and then run a knife through it. And then I'm going to use a not so sharp knife or a knife I don't really care about just to remove that seed. Removing the skin, you can do it a couple of ways. You can even try and be a superhero and try peel it off with your fingers. Sometimes it comes off really easily, but you can see me struggling a little bit here with this one. Or you can just do it the more simple way and use a spoon to scoop out that flesh, minimizing wastage within the skin. Now I do apologize here, this is out of focus. I thought this was gonna be a really cool shot, but just thinly slice that avocado into nice thin strips, or you can mash it depending on how you like it. Last but not least, we are going to need some cheddar cheese. I am not gonna be using the whole block because that's a bit too much. I recommend using about 120 grams worth, which is a good amount for the five tortillas that we're going to be using. And then just grate this on the larger side of a box grater. When you're ready to cook the chicken, add in 10 milliliters of a neutral flavored oil, give it a quick mix around and then spread these out onto a lined baking tray. Make sure they're not sitting on top of one another though, otherwise they'll steam and won't cook properly. Let's then take these over to a preheated oven that's at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit and bake these for 16 minutes. And you can finish them off for a final five minutes under the grill or broiler just to get that nice little char on them. Once they are cooked though, we're then going to remove them and what you're left with is this beautiful chicken. And I recommend letting these rest for about 10 minutes just to let those juices redistribute. Once they have rested, we can then slice them up however you like. Slice them into strips or like I'm doing, I'm going to dice them up. It makes it a little bit easier to eat as well as wrapping them up in the tortillas. As for serving up, we're going to need five tortillas. You can use low carb or high protein or regular ones if you wanted to. And I recommend placing them in the microwave for 10 seconds to slightly loosen them up. Spread over that ranch sauce. The amount is completely up to you. Then go over with that shredded lettuce, add on the chicken and the avocado, and then finish it off with that shredded cheese. And obviously everything is divided by five. And those weights that I've suggested throughout the video should be perfect amount to create five wraps. 
Finish it off with a little bit of cracked black pepper and then we can roll these up and everyone does this differently. Just do whatever makes it easiest for you and obviously just make sure they're nice and tight. But I like to roll it over, fold in the sides, scrunch it up a little bit and then just continue rolling until you get a nice tight wrap that looks like this. As for storage on these, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can wrap it in food paper like what I'm doing here, place them in Ziploc bags or even use airtight containers. These will last three days in the fridge and you can also freeze them for up to three months. Reheating, I recommend doing it in a pan over a medium heat. No need to add oil or anything like that, just get them nice and crispy. You can also use a sandwich press or whatever you need to use. And you can also eat them cold. But once you're ready to serve, slice them in half to reveal that beautiful center. Chicken is super juicy, you've got that nice ranch sauce. And then obviously the avocado and the cheese that melts through that chicken. These are the macros with the ranch sauce. As you can see, the calories are a little bit higher, but without it, it does reduce it quite a bit. The only thing left to do is of course, we can then dig in. Whether you meal prep or not, you have to make this recipe. It's light, it's cheap, it's simple, but it's packed with so much flavor. The chicken's super juicy, it's got a little bit of hint of chili on there, and that ranch sauce just goes perfectly well with it, and obviously the cheese melts through the chicken. You get the perfect bite every single time. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, it really does help me out, and consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.